In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to take two separate SVG elements and create one large element like this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this one a little bit smaller and pull it over to the side so that we have space to work here on our artboard. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my downloads folder and I'm going to pull in the SVG for the hearts. So I'm just going to click drag and drop. And when I do that, it opens up this file. Now, this is going to work for any heart that we decide to use, but I'm going to use this one right here just because I really like the shape of that. So I'm going to click Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, and then Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac. And I'm just going to paste this heart right here into my artboard. Now, um, couple things I need to do to my heart in order to prepare it for this union look. So what we're going to do is I'm going to flip flop the stroke and the fill. So now I have no fill and I have a black stroke. And then I'm going to go right over here to my properties panel and I'm going to make that stroke just a little bit thicker. Um, I kind of like that thicker look um, whenever you're combining the two. And I'm actually going to change my fill to white rather than no fill. Okay, now what I want to do is rather than just having this one line to cut, I actually want to outline that stroke. So when I go to control Y, you can see it's only one line right now and I want to have an outline there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to object, path, outline stroke. And now when I go to control Y, you can see I have that black line is now outlined, which is exactly what I want. And then I have one more step just to prepare this heart is I'm going to actually ungroup each one of these elements. And I think they're grouped twice, so I'm just going to ungroup it completely. So if I go here to my layers, I can see that I have each of these items. My This is my one compound path over here. The next one is the fill of my heart. And then the third one is the outline of my heart. So now my heart is totally ready for me to pull in my Mandela design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to my downloads and I'm going to open up the Mandela and I'm going to actually use this one that's 035 and I'm going to use the SVG and I'm just going to click, drag, and drop, okay, just like I did before. And that opens it up in a brand new document here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit Control C or Command C and I'm going to go here and I'm going to do Control V or Command V. Now, from this point, this is where you can get um, creative and artistic. You can decide what size you want it and what you want it to look like. And do you want it to be in the center of the heart or do you want it to have be offset a little bit? And you can kind of, you know, this is where you get, it gets fun with the designing part. But once you have it um, spaced out the way that you want and positioned properly within the heart, what you're going to do is you're going to select the Mandela, which we can see here by this blue dot that that one is selected. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I need to make this Mandela a compound path. So I'm going to click on control eight. Okay. Now when I do that, it looks like it disappears. I can go back to my properties and turn the fill onto black so that it's still there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is over here on my layers panel, you can see I have my Mandela and then I have my heart. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm also going to select the heart. I'm not selecting that outline. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my properties and I'm going to click on the intersect. So what I want to keep are where these two elements are overlapping together. So I'm going to click on that. And what that does is that leaves all of the part that's inside the heart. So when I go to Command Y, I can see it's all still there. But notice there's a few parts that are still overlapping. So what I'm going to do is I have one more step I need to do in order to make this ready for me to cut. I'm going to select both my inside element and the outline. And I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool. Again, if this tool isn't open for you, you can go to Window and um, go to Pathfinder right there, and that window will pop up. And I'm going to click on Unite. And when I do that, 
Now if I go to Control Y or Command Y, I can see it makes a nice smooth path for me to be able to cut this brand new form and brand new shape that I have. Now, um, the other thing that I want to do is rather than make this a group, I want to actually make this a compound path so that when I pull this into my cutting software, it will all be one item rather than each of these elements being ungrouped. So again, I'm going to click on Control 8 or Command 8 if you're on a Mac. And now I can see here it's all one compound path and it's ready for me to save. Okay, so that's how we're able to compile combine two separate SVG files into creating our own unique shape and our own unique design. If you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, I will see you back in the next tutorial. Bye, guys.